Hello, I'm Drew Devitt here at New Way Air Bearings. And what we're going to talk about today is our standard air bushings and how they're appropriate for pump and spindle applications where they're in very wet environments. So uh, you can see this is a blue, so you know it's a 75 millimeter metric housing. It comes with O-rings on the OD for mounting. Uh, it's got a very precise bore in it. You've got a serial number and an air input. We also sell these pillow blocks. And you can see the, there's already an air bushing pressed into this pillow block. Uh, there's some holes for injecting epoxy compound between the O-rings that allow you to pot it in hard situations. And then um, an air input. So we also have a 75 millimeter diameter piece of shafting here. And we'll insert that into the bushing here. Okay. Set the bushing down. Now you can see that the shaft is supporting the weight of the spindle. And in fact, I can cantilever it and try to put my body weight on it, but I can't ground it even in a cantilevered situation. <clears throat> and in order to demonstrate that this is a resistant to wet environments, we're going to put it in this fish tank. We have it conveniently located right here. There. So you can see the uh, the shaft is spinning and the air is coming out of both sides of the air bushing. We've got uh, still plenty of load capacity inside of the water. What we'll do is we'll turn the air pressure off. And you would think uh, if we exercise this back and forth and turn it around a little, there would get there would be some water that would get into the clearance between the shaft and the bushing. And we'll turn it back on again and you can see that the air pressure just pushes that water out of the way and it's working as an air bearing again right now. So what we'll do is we'll turn this off and then we'll wait and we will come back again later this afternoon and we'll make sure that indeed the water still gets displaced by the air pressure when we turn it on again indicating that these bearings are indeed very resistant to wet environments and in fact even being completely submerged okay we're back now about four hours has elapsed i can see some rust actually building up on the shaft I'm going to turn it on now for the first time and we'll slide it out of the bushing and see what happens. I'll bet there's rust in there too. Okay, so now, oh, there it is. It's floating over to the side. Well, look at that. See, you can see the rust spots on the shaft, especially right there. Quite a bit of rust, but uh, the, the bearing's working fine. It's sliding back and forth. I don't feel any drag. Maybe we can take it out and see how it's working. All right. And again, you can see we're completely free, even with it being this wet. I can't ground the bushing. And uh, you can see there is rust that has developed on the shaft here. It's definitely gotten rusty but it's definitely carrying load and operating in a wet environment. So, we think our air bushings have a strong resistance to wet environments.